One year ago, I downloaded Unity for the first time, and this is my journey so far. March 2020 was a weird time in my life. I had this urge to try something new, try something different. But before ideas, my brain came up with excuses. I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money, it's just not possible. And then out of nowhere, YouTube decided to suggest this video of Danny to me. After watching the entire video, I felt inspired to try game development for myself. So I downloaded Unity. I had no idea how to game develop. So I searched the internet and found a simple tutorial series from Brackies. After following the tutorial series for a few days, I had created my first ever game. It wasn't the best, but nonetheless, I was still proud of it. But I knew I could do better. So I decided on turning the game into a mobile game. After a few days and a thousand Google searches, I had a cube that moved using touch. My main idea for the game was to have multiple small simple arcade style games. So I created two different game modes, one where you have to dodge cubes falling from the sky and another where you have to shoot those in order to get points. I also created a scrolling main menu which took me quite a while to make. I was really proud of it but I had hit a wall. I didn't really know how I could improve the game anymore. And honestly, I wasn't motivated enough to work on the game anymore. So I decided to abandon the project. Even though the game doesn't look great, it taught me a lot about Unity and C Sharp. And I finally felt confident enough to work on an independent project. Ever since I was a kid, I have always loved FPS games like Titanfall, Doom, Call of Duty and CSGO. So like every other game developer, I decided to create an FPS game. I started off by adding a bean and then I wrote a simple code. And soon enough, our bean could now move and even jump. Great. We then started working on models for a gun. We created a simple pistol, rifle, SMG, and a shotgun. After writing some code, we could shoot as well. Well, we have nobody to shoot at. So we went into Blender and we created our first enemy model. After two weeks, I had this weird robot looking enemy. So after adding it into Unity, I started working on the enemy AI. So whenever we get near our enemies, he follows us and when we get close enough, he shoots. Well, the game is really not that unique and kind of boring. So I added a grapple gun and a jetpack. After working on the game, I felt tired and burnt out and wanted to do something new. I wanted to work on a 2D game. Unlike a lot of people, I didn't start off making 2D games. All my games before this had been 3D. So I wanted to explore the 2D aspect of Unity. I decided on creating a game for the sidemen. We started off by creating a pixel art for KSI in Photoshop. My first time, okay, don't judge. After creating KSI, we added it into a Unity project. After writing simple code, KSI could move and jump. Well, let's give KSI some guns. So we went back into Photoshop, this time to create guns. After a while, I had multiple guns. So we wrote a simple script and boom, KSI could shoot. Well, we have nobody to shoot at. So I created a simple enemy sprite. So then I wrote a lot of code and now the enemy guns rotate towards us. And when we get close enough, he shoots. Perfect. So then we started creating sprites for the rest of the sidemen. We then created a simple main menu and a character selection menu. And boom, there we have it, a sidemen game. I wanted to work on the FPS game again. I started off by working on a melee weapon. I first thought of creating a sword but it didn't work as well for my game. So I ended up creating a boomerang knife thing. After writing some code, this is how it looked. Pretty cool. Well, the movement just didn't feel good enough. So I rewrote a bit of code and now the movement felt so much smoother and better. We also added wall running, sliding, vaulting and ladder climbing. We also wanted to redo the shooting script as it didn't feel realistic at all. So to fix this, I created tracers. Tracers are basically a particle that is played when we shoot, giving it somewhat of a bullet effect. Well, the gun models don't look that great. So I redid the models for the pistol, shotgun and the rifle. We also updated the grapple gun and it looks so much better now. We also created an energy based shield, added power up and a pick up and drop system. After working on the FPS game for quite a while and adding a lot of cool things, I wanted to try something new. So I decided to create another 2D game, this time for Danny. So I started off by creating a simple sprite for Danny. While in Photoshop, I also created a simple nighttime background and some tile maps for level designing. 
After importing all of these things into Unity, I started working on the movement script. And after a while, Danny could move, jump, and even double jump. Then we created our first level for the game. Well, let's add some enemies. So we went into Photoshop, this time to create enemies. We created an orange sprite and a billy sprite. The main idea for the game is that you kill oranges and then you team up with these oranges to kill billy. So after adding them into unity and writing a simple enemy AI, it works perfectly. So we went back into Photoshop, this time to create swords. I created a normal banana sword and then an orange x banana sword given to you by the oranges when you team up. We added them into unity and wrote a bit of code and hey, the game is working. I then created 10 different levels, a main menu and a level selection menu. And boom, there we have it, a Danny game. If you want to play the game for yourself, you can using the link in the description. And that is my one year journey. This past year has been the most important and the best year of my life. I learned a lot while having so much fun, meeting new people and just discovering things I could never before. And it's crazy that I might have never started game development in the first place. I'm extremely proud of what I have done over the past year and can't wait for what the future holds.